Hey there, and welcome to the second complete retouch. In this video, we're going to be going over retouching our man Alex here. This is the uh, intro, so we're just going to cover some of the basics, and we're going to get started with blemish removal and liquify and a few things like that as well. So to start off with, we're going to go ahead and look at our download. So we're in the complete edit 2. Under images, you should see flurn retouch 17 jpeg so we're including jpegs with your download because they have a really low file size but when it comes to editing images professionally you're going to want to make sure you're editing in tiffs and this is a tiff that i've exported out of lightroom so i'm just going to show you how to do that really quickly i've already showed you how to do it a couple times just want to make sure everyone can follow so basically open up lightroom go to the image you'd like to edit here in this case we're going to click on flurn retouch 17.dng I'm going to right click, go down to export, over here to export again, and then here in our file settings, we're going to choose TIFF, Adobe RGB 1998, and our bit depth is going to be 16 bits per component. All right, we're going to export and then just stick it right in that same folder. So complete edit to images and then just hit, oh, just hit OK, and then it'll stick it right there. And then you'll have Florin Retouch 17.tiff. All right. Cool. So that's all we need to do with Lightroom. Now let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop where you can see I've already opened Flurn Retouch 17.tiff. Let's go ahead to our image and down to mode to make sure everything's good. We're in RGB color and we're in 16 bits per channel. So we're in a really great place to start retouching. Okay, let's go ahead and hit F for full screen. I'm going to change this color. We'll go to medium gray as our background color. Okay guys, and in this video we're basically going to be going over the things we're going to change in this uh, <laughs> in this beautiful portrait of Alex here, as well as some uh, blemish removal and uh, we're going to use the liquify tool as well to kind of shape things. Alright, so let's go ahead and start off uh, with some of the things that we're kind of basically just like noticing about this image that we want to like get rid of or change or heighten, things like that. Um, it's just a common thing that I do before every tutorial so I get a good idea of what I'm about to do. All right, so let's go ahead and start circling things. Well, the first thing I notice here is his hand color. You can see it's a little bit lighter and it's a little bit of a different color from his face. His face looks a little bit more like red and darker. His hand looks like yellow and lighter. All right, so we're gonna just put like color and we need to make that darker as well. All right, his lips are not symmetrical we can definitely fix that in Photoshop. All right, we do have some areas here on his eyebrows that need to be filled in as well. Okay, a little bit of darkness here under his eyes. If we're zooming in, there we go. We can see there's definitely some little areas in his eyes, things like this that need to be taken care of, like all the little brown spots and things like that. All right, we're gonna brighten up his pupils so we can see a lot more information in there. Then we've got little minor blemishes and things like that to take care of on his face. Um, all right, we're gonna remove all this facial hair because it's really, uh, we actually, <laughs> we told him we were like, can you grow your facial hair for a couple days so we have something to remove in Photoshop? Um, so he's like, yeah, sure, uh, <laughs> I'll do it. All right, we are gonna run a liquify, which I recommend, again, go ahead and do your liquify first before you start the retouch. It's gonna make your job a lot easier. All right, with that, I think I'm gonna bring his ears in just a little bit. Um, we're gonna fix the bump on his shirt, we'll fix his collar here, and I might round his head out a little bit more. Um, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right, and I might, um, yeah, I think that'll be good with the liquify tool. Okay, we're also gonna work on our shine here, taking away that forehead shine and um, yeah, he's got a couple of little like wrinkles and things like that, like here under his chin and in some other areas. All right, so that's gonna be like our basic like start off work. You know what, we need to match the color from his, from his hand to his neck to his face and then back to his hand again, just like we did in the first complete retouch because you can see his neck is just, it's just not the same color as his face. All right, and then to finish off the tutorial, we're gonna do a really good job dodging and burning and make this portrait really come to life. And we're also gonna be sharpening at the end as well. All right, let's group this with itself. I'm gonna double click here and we're gonna call this plan. Okay, there's our, there's our plan. All right, now let's go ahead and duplicate our background layer. I'm gonna hit Control or Command J on our background layer. We're gonna group this with itself and I'm gonna double click here 
and we're going to call this retouch one. All right, let's make our plan invisible for now. Okay, so we said earlier, the first thing you want to do is liquefy. You want to make sure you get your image looking how you want it before you go ahead and start your edit. Okay, so now that we have a duplicate layer, I'm going to go ahead and click on my background copy and we're going to go to filter and down to liquefy. All right, now we're going to zoom out a little bit here just so I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, again, we're using the forward warp tool up here at the top left and our size is going to be dependent on where we're actually going to be pushing and pulling. So for instance, if I wanted to like push that little bump in his head in a little bit more, um, this is, does not look good. We want our brush to be a lot bigger. So we're going to go ahead and hold the control and the option key and click and drag to the right to make our brush bigger. If you're on a PC, it's going to be control and alt and right click and drag. Or you can change your size right here, but I, I find the keyboard shortcuts to be easier. So again, the difference is if I have a small brush, it's going to look like that. If I've got a big brush, it's going to look like this. Look at that. And then now I can like more easily shape the nog, the, <laughs> which is short for the noggin. Um, anyway, I'm a, I'm a noggin shaping specialist, if, in case you didn't know. Um, all right, this is looking pretty good. So our density is right about 50%. Our pressure is 50%, and that gets us in a really good place for retouching. All right, I'm going to push his nose a little bit to the right there, just to kind of straighten that out a little bit. Pretty much anything that I see that's not like, you know, perfectly symmetrical or, I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to change like this guy. Like, I don't want him to look like anyone else. That's not my goal at all. Like I, I want him to look like him. Um, we just want to look like a little bit more retouch version of him. All right, we're going to push, <laughs> this is a retouching tutorial after all. We're going to push the ears in just a little bit. Nothing crazy, just, you know, enough to where they're not drawing as much attention. All right, let's go ahead and pull his eyebrows up just a little bit. Zoom in a little bit. We're going to work on pulling the left corner of his mouth down so it comes to match the other side of his mouth there we go and we'll pull this up just a little bit all right make his lip a little bit bigger while we're at it all right we gotta shift his nose a little bit all right and you can see i'm just kind of like clicking and doing like little micro adjustments. Again, you don't want your brush to be really small because if you do that, you're going to start, you know, making adjustments that look like that. And before you know it, you're going to ruin your image. So uh, <laughs> that's why I recommend using a bigger brush so you can come in and just kind of like nudge things around. All right, that's looking a lot better. Let's go ahead and push this shirt collar in just a little bit. Pull his neck up shirt collar down neck up I mean it's wearing, he's wearing a t-shirt it's not like <laughs> you know if someone's wearing a suit usually I'll go in and like really make the suit look nice as well um, if they're wearing a t-shirt it kind of doesn't matter as much because it's a t-shirt so um, this is you know retouching is always it's always going to be on a per image basis on like how much you want to retouch whether you want a, a much more natural look or a, you know, a more edited look and how much detail you want to go in and, and change and make more symmetrical or whatever it is. All right, great. That looks pretty good. I am, yeah, happy with that. So let's hit okay. There we go. And you can see the changes here. So we're just gonna make this layer invisible and visible again. So I kind of straightened his nose out a little bit. There was, he had a little bit of a bump right here. You can see that little bump. Kind of pulled that bump in a little bit. Brought his eyebrows up a little bit. Pulled in some, some head bumps here on the nogs. Pulled his ears in a little bit. Brought his mouth to the right so it, it's a little bit more symmetrical. You can see he was pushing off this way a little bit. Filled in his lip. Even this curvature here in his hand. Evened out some of the curvature here on my shirt. All right, yeah, and 
there we go. So, still looks like him. It's just a little bit more of like a retouched version. Okay, cool. So that's going to be our first step. Now, the next thing we always do is go in here and start removing blemishes. So we're gonna create a new layer. Shift Option Command N will allow you to create a new layer. I'm gonna hit Command Plus a few times and we're gonna zoom in. And now on this new layer, we're gonna grab our Spot Healing Brush tool. Now, make sure your settings are set to Normal, Content Aware, and Sample All Layers. That's gonna allow you to do this on a new layer. If you don't have Sample All Layers checked, you won't be able to do this on a new blank layer. Okay, and now my job is to simply zoom in and paint over all the things that I want to remove. Um, the Spot Healing Brush tool basically finds everything that's similar to whatever I'm painting and kind of fills in all of the, it just fills in all the information for you, which is really nice. It does a lot of the hard work for you. So we're gonna go about removing all these little hairs there we go. And if the tool doesn't do a perfect job, it's not the end of the world, guys. You can just paint over it again, and oftentimes it'll fix itself. If that still doesn't work, then you can always switch to another tool, like a clone stamp tool or the regular healing brush tool, which we'll probably do in just a second because this mustache here is not looking... I mean, it looks pretty decent, but that could look a lot better the tool has not copied some of the skin texture. But it's not a bad idea to do these things in a few different steps. So like, you know, okay, I got most of the hair gone. Don't feel like if it doesn't do a perfect job, you have to like delete that layer and like you're a failure in life and no one's gonna like you. That's just not true. Um, all you have to do is create a new layer and then just clean it up a little bit more. It's like, you know, it's like cleaning anything, like when you're cleaning your room, like if you don't have a lot of time, you're just, you know, you're, <laughs> you're gonna just like pick up the clothes off the floor and then like throw them in the closet or in a hamper and, and then you're gonna get out the door. But like if you wanted to do a real good job cleaning, you would do that and then like you would, you know, like look under your bed and like find some things that have been there for a while and you would take those out and you would throw them away or give them to the goodwill or, you know, it's like that. So you can, you can just build and build and build on retouching. I hope you like my retouching metaphors. I'm trying to make it relatable, dang it. <laughs> what can people relate to? Oh, cleaning. Um, all right, there we go. Painting over some of this stuff. All right, so we said a minute ago that, you know, we're gonna go in here and work with our clone stamp. So let's create a new layer. And you know what, before we start the clone stamp, I'm gonna try the regular healing brush tool, which allows me to sample my own area. So on a new layer, make sure you're set to current and below. So again, just so you guys paid notice what I just did, we changed from the spot healing brush tool to the regular healing brush tool. And now I'm gonna start sampling my own areas. So alt or option to sample the area and then start painting over the area that you want to fix. And that's because the spot healing brush tool, tool did a really good job with getting rid of um, the hair, but it also like removed a lot of like nice face, facial um, like texture and things like that. Like right here, let me zoom in. You guys can see that there's like pretty much no texture right there. And that's just not gonna work. Especially in a retouching tutorial. <laughs> if there's one time when this was important, it would be right now. All right. But some of this stuff, I mean, keep in mind, we're zoomed into like 200%, right? Like if you just put this on like your Facebook, <laughs> no one would be able to tell at this level, guys. Like this is, you know, you don't have to do this for every single image. Like, you know, your Facebook is gonna be like, what, that big? Like, trust me, <laughs> you, it, if you had a tiny little bit of like missing skin texture right here, it uh, would not matter. This is when, you know, you wanna properly retouch an image. All right, which is, I imagine, why you're watching this. You know. Be curious to know why you were watching this if you weren't interested in retouching, but you know, that's, 
<laughs> oh boy. All right. Let's zoom in here. We're going to go back to our regular spot healing brush tool. And again, we're just going to start painting over some of these things that we'd like to remove or reduce. There we go. Basically anything that's like distracting, anything that looks like dust or dirt or, you know, extra little stuff in his eye that we don't want. That's what we use these tools for. All right, we'll take care of that later. All right, so little hairs, even like little white spots and things like that in like the eyebrow. Okay, there's a blemish there. Boom. And it's gone. Get rid of some of these, like, starting to be wrinkles. Will be wrinkles in, like, 20 years. All right. Cool. And then little areas on his head. So this is, you know, probably one of the more tedious things about retouching is, like, just click on all the things that you want to get rid of. Um, a very important part of retouching it's like the beginning of all you know not all retouching but that's the first step all right now when it comes to hair especially on guys i'm gonna let this hair go a little bit more wild than i would if i was retouching a girl like if a girl had you know eyebrows that were this hairy um <laughs> i'd probably like reduce that a bit but in this case i'm not like i'm not gonna go in and like try to pluck all of his hairs out that's just not like guys should have big fluffy eyebrows and I don't know about should but I don't mind it it's not like a beauty a beauty thing or whatever all right and retouching a guy and a girl are you know fairly similar guys tend to be more like dodged and burned and things like that girls tend to be more like you know skin smooth and picture perfect and and whatnot it's just what you know whatever they want I mean if you photograph a guy and he's like I want the full treatment like make me look like Shakira on the cover of Vanity Fair or whatever you can think of, yeah sure I'll, <laughs> I'll do my best man um, you know you should get be able to get a feeling from whomever you uh, you're photographing or retouching or maybe you're retouching for a client then it's time to ask the client like hey what do you want you know like do you want a light retouch? Do you want a heavy retouch? Um, we're showing you all the tools you need to you need to do it, but this doesn't mean that you know every single retouch that you do requires you know requires this much retouching. Like sometimes it might just be you know oh yeah, take care of a couple blemishes or like even out skin tone and and whatnot, and and then you're done. So. Um, yeah, well, by the end of this tutorial, you are going to be a really re on your way to great retouching. So it's pretty exciting. I'm excited for you. You can get a lot of um, good like jobs knowing how to retouch. Like you can definitely make money um, through retouching. A lot of people do. All right. Looking good. All right, and there are still some other things on the image, but I feel pretty good that I can take care of most of the other blemishes and whatnot through, um, through different methods, like our sample and paint technique and frequency separation, things like that, dodging and burning. All right, let's go ahead and zoom out. It's like a little crease right there. All right, I think I just made it worse. <laughs> All right.
Cool. All right, let's go ahead and turn this off and back on. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see it. So we'll turn this off and back on. So there we go. It's just a lot of little stuff and it totally adds up to a really, really nicely retouched image. All right, there we go, looking good. Okay, well, guys, that's the end of our first section. That's how we start off all of our retouches in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and full screen this out and we'll take a look at the before and the after. So here's our before and the after. Beautiful before and our after. Cool. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next section.